My name is Doug Walster and I'm interviewing Paul Conklin and my topic is on butchering hogs. Okay, um, what do you remember about um, butchering hogs in like at your ho home or farm or whatever when you were little? Well, we had a <coughs> large kettle and we'd heat the water and generally about half a dozen fellows and we'd butcher four or five hogs just get together as a group. Mm. Okay. Um, like, what did you do to kill them? I mean, like, did you shoot them or use medicine or no, anything just, like that? You just turned them over and, and uh, slit their throat oh, and okay. let them up so they'd bleed out. Mm, okay. Um, like, what what did you do with the, after the with the pig after you, like you killed it? Did you like wash it first or hang it up or scald it? No, then you scald it. Scald it. In the, the water had to be about a certain temperature, and then they'd, uh, they had scrapers. They'd scrape the hair off from them. Mm. Okay. Um, where did you usually clean the pig at? Like out in a barn or? In no, we'd have it right on a platform there. Oh. Planks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. <coughs> mm, let's see. Um. What was your favorite part of the pig that you, like after you cleaned the hog? What was your favorite part of it? Well, it either the hams or uh, and the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Um, what, what did you do with the parts of meat after you cut it away from the pig? Did you like salt it and then package it? Or did you put it in a They used to smoke box? it. Salt it and smoke it. Some of it. So they ground into uh, sausage, and then uh, side pork, they'd uh, smoke that for uh, bacon. Mm. <coughs> um, mm. What did you usually do with like the carcass and stuff after you did that? Did you like bury it or use it for fertilizer or something? We just put it on a pile. All it would be is just the bones. Oh, Bones and the hair left. Hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. Did, did you like use the head for anything like that? Like, um. The head? Yeah. They used to make head cheese. Head cheese? They'd strip it and uh, they'd make head cheese out of it. Oh. Did you like ever boil or can? Or I mean, ever pickle or can any parts of them? My mother used to can meat beef and pork. Mm. And they used to fry the uh, pork chops like that and then put it in lard, put it in a, a kind of a cellar where it was cool. And then all they had to do was just dig it out and, and uh, eat it up. Mm, okay. Um, let's see. Did the place that you like clean the hog at, did it have to be like refrigerated or fanned or anything or could you just do it? And no, all they had was ice, ice boxes at that ice time. Boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you, um, did you like fatten the pig up like before you, before you uh, cleaned it or did you just wait till it got a certain... Well, it would it, be fat but they'd be about a certain weight, generally about 200, 250 pounds, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. See here, um, what like what sex of the pig was the best? Was it like male or female, or was it just it didn't matter? Well, they had the uh, the male pig. They had to cut it, you know. Yeah. Because the, the boar meat was strong. Mm, okay. <coughs> mm. Um, did you like use the hooves? Did you like pickle them or anything like that, or did you just throw them out after you were done? Just throw them out. Throw them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that's about it then. Room, women and children slept downstairs, and men and boys in the attic. That first night in their new home in 1842, all in a place to sleep except five-year-old George Lyman Jack. So they turned the kitchen table upside down. Women made a bed for him of the red flannel petticoat. My husband also remembers hearing about his grandfather, T.E.W. Adams, who 
Associate Superintendent for Smithsonian's first school in 1969. He had primary, intermediate, and grammar departments like the Elementary Middle School and High School. And in those days, sticker sticks and dunce caps were used for this project. Another story is about Fineta Irina Shepherd, who came from Ohio to marry Luther Hall, my husband's grandfather. Fineta's sister, Iona Belvina, came here to visit her sister and was introduced to George P. who had the local meat market. Iona Belvina Shepherd eventually became there are also stories of the Civil War told through years in the Adams family. My husband's grandmother, Melissa Rice Adams, was a student at Oberlin College in the 1860s and kept a diary during the Civil War. T.W. Adams, his husband, served in Ohio Company C during that war. And Mr. and Mrs. T. W. Adams came to Chesney in 1872. My husband still has his grandmother's diary. Melissa was very active in the Chesney Women's Christian Temperance Union from the 1890s to 1912. And today, her grandchildren and great grandchildren are supporters of the man and said. In the 1840s to 1850, Lucian Rice, who was Melissa's father, refused to give whiskey to farm harvest workers as part of their expected pay. So his frail wife, along with daughter Melissa, and her little sisters offered to help. When the harvest was part of the field, the men offered to come back without the whiskey. And then um, another thing that we tried to remember that we had heard about was um, some new household appliance that was used for the first time in testing by the Adams family. And today we did some research in a place for the Big Rock book to learn that on September 6, 1890, washing dishes by machinery was done for the first time in Chesney with a machine purchased by Mrs. T. E. W. Adams. Great stacks of dishes were quickly washed and dried. No dishcloth or wiper used. Neither were hands put in the water. And her great friend uh, still doesn't have a dishcloth. <laughs> really, that's not all I have to um, Okay. Um. Yeah, I had a few questions I hope to ask. I don't think it be um, Can you remember anything about when you're feeling about supernatural creatures like Bigfoot or the body of the or anything like that at all? Okay. Um, I'm not around here. I know, that's what I said. I'm not even about this kind of stuff around here. Anybody else? Is there anything you've heard of Well, see, I really don't know really about it. Oh, my husband. Oh, Oh, okay. Um, when you were like told stories in your mom, was there like a specific place that you were having like your grandparents come over and tell you? Mm -hmm. you just Mostly just being there. Do you remember what it was about the cold or anything like that night? I think you just took long stars and flooded through the ground. You just expect to see, well, you just didn't expect to see things in the sky. Mm -hmm. You didn't expect to see light and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't really know those lights? Legend 
No, I tried to do the thing. But it was something you heard about. But. <laughs> And then I write down the question, I think I didn't know anything about this film. I don't know anything about this film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I really thought for which one. Yeah, it's about chess name. Uh, mm -hmm. But, but of course, you know, we still got news like that. I don't know if you've ever seen copies of the old Chester artists. But um, they really related the details about local news. You know, if a woman just went shopping, she went to the and lost the hotel, about what she went shopping for. Uh -huh. And they had a few headlines. Um, news, but not. And they a lot of it. They didn't play it up in the sensational way.